S320 blast wheel change procedure. To begin the blast wheel change procedure, you will first need a new Impacts Americas blast wheel kit, M19 and M17 wrenches, M8 Allen wrench, and a hammer or wood block to block wheel. Begin by loosening plastic nuts that hold the urethane feed spout in place. Remove the urethane feed spout. Next, remove the nuts that hold the control cage in place and turn clamps down to allow control cage to be removed. Remove control cage and discard. Remove the four nuts that hold the blast wheel cover in place. Remove the blast wheel cover. Block the blast wheel from moving by wedging hammer head or wood block between housing and blast wheel. Use the M8 Allen wrench to loosen the cap screw that holds blast wheel to hub. Remove old blast wheel and discard it. On the back of the new blast wheel, locate the two notches. These notches are to line up with the two pins on the blast wheel hub. Place the new blast wheel on the hub and rotate it until you feel the pins and notches line up and blast wheel sits squarely on the hub. Insert cap screw and washer assembly into blast wheel center and tighten using the M8 Allen wrench. Use the hammerhead or wood block to lock wheel in place so as to fully tighten the cap screw. Replace blast wheel housing cover and replace nuts. Tighten the nuts fully but do not over tighten as the studs can be broken off if too much pressure is applied. Install new control cage and note the position should be with two notches at the 830 and 1030 position. Also, the blast wheel control cage should be centered in the opening. Do this by holding the control cage in the center of opening and placing clamps onto cage and hand tighten the nuts. Once it is held in place, completely tighten with wrench. Tighten the nuts fully, but do not over tighten as the studs can be broken off if too much pressure is applied. Next, replace the rubber feed spout and reattach the plastic locking knobs. <laughs>